I would now like to ask Rudolf Groh to give the valedictory address. There are a lot of people here. Chancelier uh, Wiener, President and Vice-Chancelier Shepard, Dr. Brisco, chers famille, amis, finissantes et finissants, je suis honoré d'être ici de vous adresser aujourd'hui au nom de la cohorte 2018 de la meilleure école de gestion au monde, John Molson. <laughs> Through countless late nights, group projects, new friends, and high-quality Molson products, we have spent the last few <laughs> we have spent the last few years at the John Molson School of Business learning how to be the next generation of business leaders. We all, walk, um, sorry, we all walk through the same doors of the MB building on our first day and have made it here today to our graduation, marking the end of one journey and the beginning of another. So let's take a moment to thank those who have gotten us to this point in time. To our family for being there since day one and never stopping to believe in us. Yeah. <laughs> Love you too. <laughs> to our professors for sharing their knowledge and shaping our ability to think critically, especially when there are seven B's in a row on the Scantron. <laughs> yeah. To our friends and fellow graduates who kept us motivated and brought energy to late night study sessions. One more, there you go. And last but not least, to the bell curve for making COM 305 look less bad than it actually was. <laughs> So today is a day to celebrate our accomplishments, and let's take a moment to go through some of the highlights that we've gone through in this past year. Our associations, committees, and clubs organized are composed of over 300 students, organized conferences, workshops, networking events, social events, free tutorials, uh, mobile applications, workshops for students uh, that enhance their experience at the school. Our case competition program, which is the largest in the world, won 45 podiums at 19 different competitions in seven countries. We sent over 180 students on exchange where they were able to grow their networks and gain a new perspective on the business world. Our students have managed a $2.5 million portfolio as part of the Kenneth Woods Portfolio Management Program. And this year alone, we raised over $65,000 for charities around Montreal, including spending five nights outside in minus 25 degree weather as part of the five, five days for the homeless campaign. We did this together, building a sense of community outside of the classroom, all while trying our best to succeed inside of it. I want everybody to, to uh, to go back to, their, to the start of their journey at JMSB. Try to visualize it with me. Everyone has different iterations of what their first day at the school was like. And that's one thing that's amazing about our school. We all have different reasons as to why we chose to come to JMSB and different backgrounds that led us to that door on our first day. My first day was Wednesday, September 4th, 20... I'm not gonna tell you. <laughs> Heading into COM 212, uh, I was fresh out of CGEP, had my backpack full of overpriced textbooks, and was, and was recovering from a rough Tuesday night at Reggie's. Um, but as excited as I was to learn how to strike deals with business tycoons, navigate the financial markets, and craft brilliant strategies, I was nervous to open that door to that first class. Because university, to me, was new, and it was unknown, and it was scary. Right now, we are at a similar turning point to where we were when we just arrived at the school, a next step in our journey. Some of you may leave here today to a full-time job or pursue higher education or take a break and backpack around Europe. 
and some of you may have no idea what's next. But in our time at JMSB, sure, we learned that Porter has five forces, but, <laughs> but, but we, we learned how to tap into our curiosity and ask tough questions. We learned how to manage expectations and deal with difficult people. And we learned how to network with uh, complete strangers over wine and cheese. These learnings have shaped each and every one of us into unique people with unique perspectives and have better equipped us to face the new, unknown, and scary situations that may come our way. I'd say we're ready. So as we embark on our journeys, let's remember our roots and keep our desire to learn alive. Let's continue to build relationships and give back to those who have helped us. Let's be proud of ourselves and the differences that make us unique. I'm certain that we will be successful, successful in wherever the world takes us. I want to close on a quote from one of the greatest doctors of our time, uh, Dr. Seuss, uh, <laughs> who, who wrote, today you are you, that is truer than true, but there is no one alive who is youer than you. Being you is awesome, and today is far from the end of your journey. If there's one thing to remember from this speech, it's that even if we have gone through a similar path down the halls of the MB building to get to where we are today, we're all different, we're all unique, and that's what's make, uh, so let's embrace it in whatever our next journey may be. Thank you very much for the opportunity to speak to you today. Merci beaucoup, and bonne chance. Rudolph, I, I have to say I love your energy. I think I would have given you my job. Uh, if you'll forgive the pun, may you grow from strength to strength.